Alright, shalom, shalom. Give me one second, make sure volumes sound good. Alright, shalom, shalom. Give me one second. Alright, come here. Sounds good. Alright, shalom. Call Lawyer, Lawyer Hawa Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rechak Radash, in the water. The water you have, Bashem Yahweh Shai, for the spirit and truth. As always, double honors go to my apostles. They always a great meal, so over well. And tell me this truth through the spirit book of thumb. And as always, salutations to the Zikonium or Akim. <clears throat> Cross focals of the earth that sees in this truth and sincerity, faith, and honesty. And Shalom, we'll have a thumb, we'll have a karyam, show Yashallah, which is peace and love to the elect. Right, of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, according to predestination. All right. Um, my fellow servant, call me a shadow from Jim S. Tampa Bay 12, the camp out here in Tampa, Florida. All right, the, uh, the heart of Babylon and belly of the beast. With a quick lesson, Lord's what is this edifying to the elect? Pretty much, um, through the spirit, as you can see, I titled this uh, lesson, through the, the elect and predestination. All right, be, uh, dealing with so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, as it is written, 12,000 men out of the East, 12 tribes of Israel. All right, they are the elect, man. Okay, they were chosen beforehand, beforehand, which matter of fact, when you go into the etymology, which we'll do, all right, which we will do uh, real quick, when you go into the etymology of ordain, okay, check this out, when you go into the etymology of the word ordain, okay, it's uh, the verb uh, from the 1300s, it says uh, ordaining. In quote, it says, to appoint or admit to the ministry of the church. You see, so 144,000, all right, particular souls were ordained beforehand, preordained, predestined, all right, okay, to be uh, allotted, all right, with uh, abilities and talents, all right, uh, to be able to minister to the church, all right, which uh, which is what the body of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right, it says to appoint or admit to the ministry of the church, also to decree and act from a stem of old French, ordinaire, ordinaire, place in order, arrange, prepare, consecrate, designate. So the elect, all right, are put in order. Okay, they're placed in order, they're arranged, they're prepared. Okay, they're designated, all right, before, all right, the foundations of the earth. Now, matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that and prove that. The significance of the elect, and this is why when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, all right, he uh, spoke, all right, in St. Matthew 24 about gathering his elect from the four corners of the earth. He did not say all all of Israel. He did not say all of the world. He said the elect, man, which is from the uh, Greek word, I believe, eklektos, which means chosen. And the Lord said, many are called, but few are chosen. So. This is a strive for the mastery, man. This is a strive for being chosen from the foundations of the earth. Now, let's go ahead and uh, get that because the Lord, Yahweh, by Shemi Shai, the Heavenly Father said, before they spring forth, he tell you of them. All right, so the Lord all right, already told us how things were going to go down. All right, in uh, Malachi, the third chapter, it also tells you how uh, to, when you return under the sun, okay, being the spirit, coming back into this uh, the, the flesh of the tabernacle, under the sun, all right, you return and discern between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth them not. Okay, and the only way you can do that is by being predestined. Okay. All right, so let's go get right to it. This is Ephesians 1, verse 3. It says, Bless be the most high. I'm sorry, blessed be God and the Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Hamashiach. That's right, and we're blessed with spiritual blessings being what? Wisdom, knowledge, understanding. See? The knowledge, uh, hey, the treasury of knowledge, man. You know? The deep riches of this truth, the deep riches of knowledge, man. Verse 4, it says, According as he have chosen us, okay, in him before the foundations of the world, okay, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. That's right, so the Lord chosen us. All right, put us to put a certain spirit on us to be able to endure afflictions, endure uh, trials and tribulations. All right, so that we can uh, constantly, okay, fight to receive a crown. All right, upon our head, man. 
by the, by the only begotten Son, I was shy. Without blame, being being what uh, uh, without uh, uh, without any other doctrine, being indoctrinated with any other doctrine, man, any other philosophy, okay, without blame of uh, uh, guilt. You know, the scriptures speak about in their mouth were found no gal. Okay, the only thing we'll be able to tell you is that Yahweh Bashmi Yahushai's kingdom will be set up here on the planet Earth, and the elect shall uh, uh, the elect shall uh, praise His holy name. The elect shall prevail. That's all we can tell you, man. Is what the scriptures tell you, bro. Verse four is the point, and according as He have chosen us in Him before the foundations of the world, us like verse five. It says, having predestinated us, see unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai Mashiach to Himself. According to the good pleasure of his will. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, predestined us, man. All right, so let's go ahead and go into that word predestined real quick. Because people wonder why we're so bold, all right, and why we stand so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, why we constantly do videos and we constantly watch the news because the scriptures tell you that the Lord, all right, which we'll grab that too, all right, the Lord put a spirit on us from the foundation of the earth to, to do his will. All right, predestined is a verb from the late 1400s. It says to foreordain. All right, and the word ordain means to what? Place in order, arrange. You see? To consecrate, to designate, right? You see? So the Lord placing us in order before the eyes of our, uh, our enemies, man. You see? He's setting us up in order. <laughs> He's setting up the 144,000 in order right before our enemies' eyes while they're preparing for World War III to fight Yahweh Shai Mashiach. And to come down with great wrath upon the whole nation of Israel. The Lord is setting up the, the church. You see? He's setting up the kingdom of heaven. You see? The tabernacle of David. Closing the breaches up, man. And that's every brother being a golden brick. All right? It says from old French, predestiner, 1200s. Predestined. What's the word? Pre just means before. Destiny. Destined is from uh, the word uh, 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 destiny, if I'm not mistaken, which means lot or portion. So before your lot, before you were portioned, before you were, uh, uh, before you came on the scene, the Most High Yahweh Bashmi Yahushua ordained you, man, to be a prophet. You see, it says ordained of the Most High, and directly from Latin, predestinary, determined beforehand. So there it is. So we were determined beforehand to partake. All right, in the adoption, okay, uh, which is what, uh, being brought nigh unto Yahweh Bashmi Yahushua by the blood. Of, of, of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, being made kings and priests. Okay, being adopted by the blood of Yahweh Shai because we were casted off, man. All right? But the sacrificial lamb, Yahweh Shai, brought us back to the Most High, and that's, the, that's according to his pleasure. It pleased the Lord, as it is written in Isaiah 53, if I'm not mistaken, all right, to bruise Yahweh Shai for our sakes. By his stripes, we were healed, man. You see? Okay, and that's to the elect. All right, verse six to the praise and glory of His grace, wherein He have made us accepted in the beloved, right, the house of David. All right, chief cornerstone is Yahweh Shai. Verse seven, in whom we have redemption through His blood. So there it is. Matter of fact, through the Spirit. Now let's go into this word here, uh, redemption. Okay, because it's very important. All right, to know the significance of being redeemed, man. Okay, we that's why the scriptures say, Know ye not, ye are not of your own, and that ye are bought with a price. All right, the significance of being redeemed out of a nation of wickedness, man. You know, Israel is full of wickedness, Israel is full of deceit, lies, and treachery. All right, okay, and malice, all right, envy, okay, and so forth and so on. So, to be redeemed, all right, from a, uh, from the hand of uh, uh, evildoers, okay. All right, man, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. All right, it says uh, a releasing effect by payment of ransom, which the payment for mm -hmm. ransom was the blood of Yahweh Shai. Redemption, deliverance, liberation procured by the payment of ransom, right? So through Yahweh Shai's blood, we're able to be uh, delivered, man. You see, we're able to be brought back to the most. High. All right. Okay, it says the forgiveness of sins according to the rich riches of his grace. And that's why the scriptures say, as his majesty, so is his mercy, man. So as the most high, his majesty is his mercy. And his mercy is to his saints. 
See, and he have care for his elect. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Okay. Because it's at the riches of his grace. So let's see who grace is to, right? You know, let's see who grace is uh, giving to, man. You know? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. That's the elect. And such as be faithful in love, which is what the ministry, the keeping of the commandments, the lost as commandments to the best of your ability, and also the commandments of Yahweh Shai, shall abide with him forever, right? In the spirit, which is these words, man, which is Yahweh Shai. That's the point, because it said the riches of his grace, which is redemption. Okay, it says, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for, for his elect, and the elect were predestined, all right, to receive grace and mercy, man. That's why it's not of works, lest any man boast, but it's of the spirit, and it's of the uh, mercy and the grace that Yahweh, all right, will have on you through the, uh, uh, through the blood of Yahweh Shai, man, which was that sacrifice, you see? So it's not of us. He's, he's delighted in the, in the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai that Yahweh Shai have uh, done for his elect, all right, then the, uh, uh, the whole nation of Israel, man. But the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai to the elect, all right, was uh, more uh, more pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. You see? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out, all right, by getting um, something in the second. There's just two, okay, the significance, all right, of being predestined, man, to receive the crown of life, man, the crown of glory, you know? Being nigh unto Yahweh Shai, you know, being nigh, all right, it, uh, of, of, of heavenly things, man. Being a God, being a king on the planet Earth, man, you know, knowing the significance of Yahshua Allah, you know, knowing the significance of being a God on the planet Earth, man, you know, a ruler, okay, chosen on the most high, a chosen vessel, you know, to distribute, all right, the, uh, the commandments of the Lord, you know, the law of the Lord, you, you know, to be a ruler, man. That's the ultimate... Uh, if hey, you know if you play games or whatnot, that's the ultimate creative player, man. The elect are the the hundred overall, you know, the hundred and forty four thousand out of hundred overall out of the nation of Israel, man, because they were chosen from the beginning to be uh to be perfect, man. They were chosen from the beginning to be perfect, and they're getting ready to receive that perfection in the end of Esau's rulership. Okay, so. That's why I'm bringing this out. Um, let's see. It's a lot in here. I'm going to get right to the point. All right. Uh, here it is. Let's, let's start from here. Verse 31. Second Ezra 2 and 31. Remember thy children that sleep, right? The children of Israel, the sons of Yahshua Allah, so-called Negroes, Latin, and American Indians. For I shall bring them out of, of the side of the earth and show mercy unto them, right? From the four corners of the earth, man. Okay, from all of our captivities. And the Lord once again said, Grace and mercy unto them. To who? His elect. For I am merciful, saith the Lord Almighty. So that's Yahweh, but Shemi Al Shai speaking. Verse 32 Embrace thy children until I come, and show mercy unto them. For my wells run over, and my grace shall not fail. That's right, because the Lord told us that what? He that believeth in him, uh, uh, through, through their belly shall flow what, uh, rivers of. Uh, Living waters, if I'm not mistaken, man, which is what living waters of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Okay, all right, to be able to measure the time diligently in itself to the returning of Yahweh Shai. You see, verse 33 I, Ezra, receive a charge of the Lord unto the Mount Oreb that I should go unto Israel, so called Negro, Latin, and Indians. But when I came unto them, they set me at naught and despised the commandment of the Lord, which is what two thirds of our people, man. Okay. Those who thought that they had it all, those that crucified Yahweh Shai, those that uh, believed are right, entrusted in uh, oppression, man. Okay, which is the same souls, the same spirits that's here today. All right, that's why the Lord said in Galatians the sixth chapter in the sixteenth verse that he uh, uh, his grace was unto who the Israel of God, man, the elect of the Most High. You see. Verse 34, and therefore I say unto you, O heathen, why? Because we were casted off, man. The scriptures tell you the falling away shall come, man. Okay? All right, so we we, we fell away from all of our, our, our heritage, man, our customs, 
okay? I mean, we were what? Sold into slavery, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. Okay? All right, we despise, we looked at as heathens, man. All right? It's not talking about the actual heathen. It's talking about the so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native American Indians that took on the customs of the heathens. And that's 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, first verse. All right? Okay, we, we follow dumb idols, man. All right? And the scriptures say, be alienated. We were alienated from the customs, man. All right? Because of the worshiping of idols. All right? So we took on the, the customs of the heathens. So it says, and therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen, speaking unto the, uh, the Israelite foreigners, man. Okay? That hear and understand, which is us. Okay? Us, man. All right, here in Babylon are great and scattered across four corners of the earth. Look for your shepherd, which is Yahweh Shai, through this what? Through the Spirit. And the Lord told us that he would be with us. Why? Because the prophecies will be fulfilled. Okay, and we've seen the prophecies be fulfilled, man. Wars, nations uh, rising up against nations, man. Upwards of the people, earthquakes in diverse places, storms, tempests, hell, and uh, earthquakes everywhere, man. Come on. Okay, this is us looking for Yahweh Shai because he told us that in these times you shall know that I am nigh at hand. Okay? All right? That your redemption draweth nigh. You see? Redemption going to the word redeem. All right? Okay, which is what? Deliverance. He shall give you everlasting rest for he is nigh at hand. So there it is. Yahweh Shai is near. That shall, uh, slucky, that shall come in the end of the world. That's right. Okay, and, and that's proof, man, that this is a, this is the truth, man. Because all these things that Yahweh Shai spoke about is is, is uh, popping off right now as we speak. Okay. All right. Uh, verse thirty-five. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. All right. It says, "For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore." Okay, and that everlasting light, which is His knowledge. Okay. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. That's right. So the, the shadow of this world, all right, ultimately, okay, is uh, Babylon the Great here, man. All right. Because what? Uh, the scriptures say the valley of the shadow of death. Okay, in Ezekiel 37, it says, speak to these dry bones. All right. You know, in, in, uh, in Revelations, it says, uh, in the land where our Lord was crucified, you know, where, was, where is the Lord being crucified here? And ultimately here in Babylon the Great, because we are the body of Yahweh Shai, man. You see? That's why the scripture says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's spiritually speaking about Babylon the Great. Because it was all made up to uh, specify the end. Okay, and the end of Esau Edom is America being destroyed, man. Okay? Babylon the Great, the, be uh, the whore that sitteth upon the beast. You see? Okay? The great horde that deceived nations, man. All right. So that's the end of this world. Verse 35. Be be ready to the reward of the kingdom. Right. Because we're ruling next according to Daniel 7 and 27, man. All right. In Daniel 2 and 44 and 45. For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. That's right, man. So, you know, I just wanted to bring that out. That we were predestined. All right. To uh, testify. Okay, of Yahweh Shai. All right, in our salvation, man. Okay, to receiving uh, the kingdom of heaven. Okay. All right, so with that, Lord's will, this is edifying to the elect. Till next time, I say shalom.